impacts are sure to be widespread over the course of several days. We expect things to begin with the storm later today and especially tonight. So let's break things apart by region, get you updated. We're going to head into the Southern Plains first, and this is one spot where it does not take a lot to cause big time issues. So we're looking at north and central Texas, maybe only seeing an inch of accumulation, at least in central Texas, but that is enough to cause some large concerns. And quickly as you head north, the issues start to compound and we're looking at larger accumulations. So winter storm watch extends through San Angelo, Waco. It's knocking on the doorsteps of San Antonio. Antonio. As we head into the higher terrain, winter storm warnings for the Colorado Rockies dropping into north uh, portions of New Mexico. Wichita, Kansas under a winter storm warning that extends into Missouri. And then we have a winter storm watch for Oklahoma City, Dallas and stretching into central Texas. So most of the region dealing with this nasty weather this morning. It's very quiet. We'll see some rain develop along the Gulf Coast. It doesn't really start to get busy until around dinner time. Look at the snow forming in Kansas back towards the Colorado Rockies and also New Mexico. As we go into tonight's forecast, we really start to see that cold air sink down to the south. So the Texas Panhandle starting to pick up on some snow overnight into early tomorrow morning. This is a look at Wednesday morning. Look at the ice from Oklahoma City up towards St. Louis. Tomorrow morning's commute, it's going to be treacherous and possibly not easy to do. Wouldn't be surprised if we do have schools that are canceling because of the freezing rain and the ice accumulation. Now in Oklahoma City up towards St. Louis, notice by lunchtime on Wednesday, Wednesday, we're starting to see that changeover. The cold air continues to win over this cold front and places like Oklahoma City will see a mixed bag of everything transferring over to snow during the day on Wednesday, even seeing that occur in St. Louis. Dallas towards Waco moving into San Antonio, still a rain story for the entire day tomorrow. But as we go into Wednesday night, that's when the cold air rise for Texas. So that winter weather possible as far south as San Angelo. So we could have icing conditions for Wednesday night and look at Waco possibly seeing some icy conditions as we head into Thursday afternoon. So again, this is a multi day event. We're going to start things off tonight and even as we go into Thursday afternoon and evening, we still have winter weather across the region. Ice is going to be the largest concern here. We are looking at the threat of ice very likely highlighted in light purple from the Red River all the way through Oklahoma, northern portions of Arkansas and southern Missouri. But that chance of ice extends into Abilene. Mason all the way down towards the northern suburbs of San Antonio. Now the threat of disruptive ice where we're going to see power outages. Also the threat of roads being impassable, really focusing on North Texas through Oklahoma, a second spot closer to Dexter, Springfield, Mountain Home. So northern Arkansas, southern Missouri. That's going to be one spot where we are definitely expecting a significant amount of ice to be forming. The snow forecast here, this one's going to be based off of where you are. Of course, the higher terrain of Colorado and New Mexico. This is going to be a winter weather wonderland. Wonderful news for the ski resorts where we could see some changes here. North Texas through Oklahoma. Once you start to see a mixed bag where we have freezing rain, sleet and also snow, those accumulations could be lower. So right now we're calling for maybe about one to three inches, but that might be increased depending on what we see. Also a part of this forecast, Stephen, is that we could see some dry air for North Texas and Oklahoma that would also lower the accumulations. But places like, you know, Northeast Oklahoma, Missouri, that's where we're going to see a lot of snow and ice. Yeah. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.